So notice no one's been attacking, even though you might think intuitively that UW Tempo should be the deck that plays aggro. Okay, good, I'm glad I made that play. I think I waited until I ran out of land drops to use Fathom Seer, because there's no hurry. I have a daze just as soon as he decides to play his fourth, or, yeah, fourth mana source. Oh, huh. Did I actually remember to pay them, even though I wasn't supposed to? Maybe that's a later turn. Yeah, I guess it must have been. My memory of this game is a little incomplete since this happened a while ago. Oh. Yeah, well. Yeah, you saw me pay for them. I guess I was just too busy going off with UW Tempo. Uh, and my opponent didn't notice either. He didn't notice that because he thought I didn't pay once I brought it up. So it looks like we were both just kind of not really paying enough attention here. But it doesn't matter. Really, I should have sacrificed the Grunt. Because he wasn't attacking, my opponent's not attacking, and if he does, it doesn't matter. I should have saved the Fathom Seer, because I was going to use him during my turn. Or during my main phase. So yeah, that was actually kind of disastrous as far as like following the rules and stuff. But, at worst, it could be to my disadvantage, so hopefully it won't change your impression of whether or not this is a good strategy to use. Okay, that was a really swingy play. Like, I was already kind of controlling the game, but now his wasteland becomes wasteable, and I got to use my days. Well, I mean, I wasn't desperate to use it, he was pretty hosed for mana. But getting to Wasteland is Wasteland is pretty awesome. Okay, here I should save the Wayfarer and let the Avenger go? Hmm, I guess I decided to... Oh, because I can't use Wayfarer anymore either. Okay, I guess that's true. So I traded in for Wasteland. So my opponent thinks here that this game could loop on forever and ever, but there's a slight breaking of symmetries in this looping process. So I, so first I put an Avenger into play because I'm not ready to grunt yet, there's only one Wasteland there. But um, basically what's happening each time we cycle through some of the cards in our deck and then I grunt them back is he's losing lands while I'm losing my worst spells. like. I sacrifice some of my creatures that can't attack anyway, and he's getting mana screwed as I'm recycling counter magic also. So my hand becomes full of counter magic over the next few turns. I think later I even draw a third force of will, and then blue spells to make it so that I can cast all three of them. Because I'm really not looking to draw cards anymore. So now I can start attacking. Okay, so Oblivion Ring isn't a card that I really have to counter, so I'm just going to let it resolve. It doesn't really do all that much. I remember thinking that his choice to take my Vial away was kind of weird, 
because he's not afraid of me putting more creatures into play. Um, but if he took Avenger away, he could at least hope that somehow, as we keep looping through this, the wastelands and Force of Wills and stuff, that at some point he might sort of stochastically leap ahead, like I might get a chain of bad draws or something. At the very least, it's always good just to not be threatened. So I end up taking his lands instead of mine. Okay, so I pass an attack to put JIT on Sarah Avenger. If you do the computations, you'll see that by quite a wide margin, that's, that kill is a lot faster. Okay, so this time I decide to force, because this time I'm ready to swing with Avenger JIT. And that's going to put him on a pretty fast clock. I don't think he has enough time to actually break from at least one counterspell, maybe two, if I draw another blue. Okay, this time I correctly sack Grunt because I'm done using him. Another ghostly prison, that's no problem. I have enough lands, so I'm not forcing that. Okay, so now I'm able to kill his Magus, but it doesn't really seem that appealing because there's nothing I can do. I think my opponent thought I lock sacked the land top deck because he typed LOL into the chat box. But I was actually holding that back. Not specifically to make his ghostly prison play get owned, but really just because there's no reason to play a wasteland and let him know that I have it. Okay, Trinisphere. Oh. Okay. I remember being thankful he did that, because now I can let Crucible resolve, because he doesn't have anything to play with it. Had he played Trinisphere, I would have needed to force that, because I wouldn't be able to force anything else after it. Okay, there it is. So now I have double counter. I think it's pretty certain that from here he loses. But we'll just play this one out. Or, I mean, we did play it out, but we'll, I'll keep, I'll let you see the end of this. Okay, he passed another turn. Situation's getting pretty desperate. Okay, so now he can't even use Ancient Tomb anymore. He's getting ready. Sacrifices his Magus. He's hoping to get in. Dazed. Okay, so for game two, um, I'm, I don't think I'll end up including that. It was less interesting, but um, yeah, I just do the more or less obvious sideboarding plan without cutting any swords. So there's not really much else to say about that. So thanks for watching, um, and yeah, that was a good game.